I'm a dragoon! So you want to be a Dragoon? You want to wield the long sphere and swing it around dealing all the damage? You want to provide a large, powerful, potent party utility? You want to become a GOD amongst mere mortals? Well, I can't really help you with that, but I can show you how awesome Dragoon is. And here we go. Perfect landing. You see? Dragoons are an incredibly powerful melee DPS job, and, according to our completely non-biased survey, the best melee DPS job in this entire game. Melee DPS job. And done, there we go. But enough talk. Let's go over how to play the job. Starting off, we let the dragon come inside of us, by using Blood of the Dragon. You'll get this glowy blue aura around you that, that you can use to show off to your friends what a great relationship you have with that dragon in you. This is your important buff to have up at all times. You do not drop this buff. Uh, this only lasts 30 seconds though, but that doesn't mean you're a half minute hero. You can make it last longer through your rotation. And we have a very strict rotation. Firstly, we thrust truly into disembowel, into then thrusting chaotically from the rear, showing off how we deflowered the weak samurai. We stole all these pink petals from them. After this we use wheeling thrust from behind, then flang, flang, fang and claw from their flank. Oh look, our gauge is full again. Can't hit these positionals due to pesky mechanics or not remembering. Shoot off! It's especially useful when your tank friend does this to you. On every boss. Get these right and you'll be rewarded with right and thrust. Get them wrong and be shamed with the weak animation of true thrust again. Carrying on with the rest of our rotation. Ride and thrust into a nice smack and warpal thrust into our biggest GCD hitter, full thrust. Fang and claw, wheeling thrust, and done! See that, that's really not so complicated. This is our rotation and we never deviate from it. 10 buttons, we press in an order every single time. We thrust continuously and rhythmically and this maximizes our big boy DPS. And remember to always Always push for damage. Mechanics, AoEs, boss stuff. I mean, come on, please. I'm a Dragoon. That, that means I can get hit by mechanics and will be fine. From the rear, and then from the rear, and then from the side, and then I'm a Dragoon. I can take all the hits. I don't, I, don't, I can take it. <gasps> I couldn't take it. <laughs> I'm a Dragoon, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. Oh, oh, ow, ow. <laughs> I'm a Dragoon, I can take it! Steve! <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry, healers. The shame. <laughs> the shame. Oh, you know, maybe maybe we should do the mechanics. But we also have some of the juiciest off GCD cooldowns in the entire game to weave. We have everyone's favorite one, Gear Skoogle. It explodes our white fury from the tip of our spear all over the enemies. And what the hell kind of description was that? We also have our jumps. We have our dragon fire dive. DD, where you have the screaming dragon and fire explosion and you don't get to use it for a long time. We have our spine shatter dive, SD, which sounds a lot scarier than it is. 
It allows us to reposition. We jump to a boss and we stay with the boss. But because it does a good amount of damage, we just press it whenever we can. We also have our actual positioning ability called Elusive Jump. Jump towards a boss. Jump out of an AoE. Jump into an AoE. Jump off a platform. Or just generally feel like a badass. Ooh, ooh no, 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 no. Dodge! <laughs> and we have High Jump, HJ, which allows us to jump to a boss, hit them, go psych, and jump back to where we were. Confusing the hell out of them, probably. I'm not sure. It also gets us Mirage Dive, which allows us to shoot a small white dragon from our body and slightly opens the dragon eye on us. Oh, yeah, I probably should have mentioned that. This is the second part of our job gauge. We're trying to make the dragon notice us. After we shoot our tiny white dragon twice, the dragon's eye fully opens and starts to shake, letting us know he's ready to move on to the next stage of your relationship. When the dragon's eye is shaking and you cast Guess Goggle, you get to enter Red Rage mode. This makes Guess Goggle even better, turns it into Nas Nastrond, and it just makes everything better, really. You get to press Nastrond three times during Red Rage mode, because it's only got a 10 second cooldown. But not only this, we get our final jump, the most recent addition to our collection of Shadowbringers, the STD. Star Diver. You get to use this once, and you must use it once every time you get to enter the Red Rage mode. Guess Goggle is also where you can vary up your rotation. You see, because if you, you can use also high jump, cast high into jump, Guess Goggle, into Mirage Dive, into into Guess Mirage Google, dive you, you can, can delay it by enter 30 red seconds, rage mode allowing you if to you've got some buffs realign your buffs. You align or you can be like me and just play whack-a-mole with anything that goes off of cooldown on your hotbar. Alright, fight's gonna begin and jump. There you go. Perfect. We also get a bunch of other things we should use on cooldown that aren't as flashy as the jumps, but still really powerful. Firstly, Life Surge, where we give our spear a quick pump, which allows our next hit to hit even harder. You're gonna be using this always on true for us to maximize your big boy DPS. I, uh, didn't combo it there, but you will when you use it on full thrust to get maximum damage. Next, we have Battle Litany, where we point our spear directly into the air to show how long our shaft is. We have Lance Charge. Do more damage. What's not to love? Is it not on cooldown? Now it is. And lastly, we have Dragon Sight. You can cast this on your friend to share the glory of the dragon's power, or be greedy and just keep it all for yourself. However, and this is very important, if you ever find yourself in an instance with another dragoon, it is your duty to always cast your eye on that dragoon. It's a matter of pride. You see, when there are two eyeballs in an instance, there's only two way things can go. Angry eyes and derpy eyes. Your goal is to cast Dragon Sight first. Then you get the angry eyes. This shows dominance. You are clearly the superior Dragoon. Thus, obviously, you have more DPS. Right? Kaboom! And smack and... <sighs> I <laughs> completely forgot about the Dragon Sight minigame. And let's grab my bow, oh, you son of a gun. You know what? I'm overriding your battle with me. <laughs> and instantly dropping Blood of the Dragon. Oh, get distracted by mechanics. And get eyeballed. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, finally I win one. That totally vindicates all the losses and, uh, uh, excuse me? Next, we have our AoE rotations. It just press these when there's more than one enemies. More than one enemies? More than one enemy. Last, and for sure the most important part of any job you play, Glamour. 
As a Dragoon, it is your duty to show everyone how ho spiky you are. Each spike is plus 1% damage. This is fact, it's science, so why else would Dragoons look like walking pen cushions? Even the latest raid gear here isn't really that spiky. I mean, look, you've got, I mean, you've got one spike here and one spike here, but that's only plus 2% damage. That, that really isn't that good. And even the raid tier before that really wasn't that spiky. It, it looks good. I guess you got that as a spike, so that's plus 1% from the helmet and... And I guess the boots, you get two spikes, so that's plus 1% each from the boots. But that, again, is only plus 3% damage. So what is the most optimal spiky armor you can make? Well, that is just the standard Dragoon armor set. I mean, look at this chest piece. You got spikes here, you got spikes here, the arms, you've got these spikes and all your knuckles are spikes. The helmet has a bunch of spikes, even there around your face's spikes. The feet are just spikes. This, this is obviously, since the game released, has been the greatest Dragoon armor. So now you know how to Dragoon. You know how to be the best class, and you know how to do the damage. Just keep pressing buttons and you'll do great. Say goodbye then friends, and have a great day.